Hi, my name is Deborah R. Richardson of Deborah R. Richardson LLC, and I work with you to help you clean up your vendor data, clean up your vendor processes so that you pay the right vendor. Now, this week's Vendor Master File Tip of the Week is can't avoid writing a check with a pen. Use this type to avoid whitewashing. Now, I do recognize that this may be a little more applicable to your personal life than your business life because typically business checks, you do not have to use a pen. They are automatically uh, populated like all the fields are printed on and maybe even your check signature as well. However, there may be some smaller companies out there. You may have to write a check with a pen um, with a pen. And so I picked up this tip at a fraud conference today and I wanted to share it with you. So if you have to use a pen when you write a check, use a black gel pen. And so when I came out of that fraud with that tip, I went to look it up to, you know, Google it to make sure that, you know, that is a thing. And so I found uh, this uh, article from a bank that did indeed say that. So if you want to read more from the bank, I have the link there and I will put it in the uh, description. And so you can click on it and read more on it. But it definitely says that if you um, have to write a check, now we all know that we want to get rid of checks, but in business you can't really um, always do that. So if writing a check cannot be avoided, it should be done using a black gel pen. Uh, the gel seeps into the fibers of a check and will ruin a, an attempt of washing. Any valuable mail should be taken directly inside a USPS Postal Service and handled to an employee. So I highlighted that too because I've talked about new scam alerts where uh, thieves are stealing checks from the blue mailboxes, the blue USPS mailboxes, and they're whitewashing, they're stealing the checks, they're whitewashing those checks, and then filling in their own information, their own accounts, or own amounts, and then depositing them. And by the time the check bounces and comes back, they're gone with the funds. But in any event, to avoid the whitewashing, then use a black gel pen. All right, so if you want more, um, tips on new frauds and scam alerts and how to prevent them, make sure you enroll in this uh, training session on the Vendor Process uh, Training Center. Uh, for 2023, if you pay for one, uh, enroll and pay for one month's course, you can uh, attend all the uh, uh, different training sessions or all the monthly training sessions for 2023. So you enroll once for that one fee and you get to come to the last Thursday of every month. I go over frauds and new scam alerts and how to prevent them for that one fee. Won't be like that in 2024 and it wasn't like that last year, but um, it is like that for 2023. So pay one fee and you get to come back every month. And you can watch it live or on demand. So I also have a link to this in the description as well. All right. So if you would like more information on how to improve your vendor process, uh, you can go to my website at DeborahRRichardson.com for free tools and resources to avoid fraud, regulatory fines, and bad vendor data. And if you would like over 149 hours of training uh, for your vendor team, check out the Vendor Process Training Center at training.DeborahRRichardson.com. So good luck and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified next Tuesday for the next Vendor Master File Tip of the Week.